Thank you, Lord, for all the things you have done. We pray, Lord, all these testimonies and miracles will be permanent in Jesus' name. And every one of us here tonight will not just hear what happens to other people, which you will be partakers of the miracle power in Jesus' name. Every promise of God right here tonight will belong to everybody. The power manifestation tonight belongs to everybody. Lord, I pray that the mighty power of God in an explosive manner, dynamic manner, will touch everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. This night of supernatural deliverance, I pray, Lord, no yoke will remain. No curse will remain. No affliction will remain. And no power of the enemy will remain in Jesus' name. Confirm your mighty power in everyone. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. We're looking at 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3. I'm reading verse 8. First John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Look at the second part. For this purpose. For this reason. To this end. The Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. I bring the message to you. Destroying the works and the weapons of the devil. There are weapons that Satan uses. In the lives of people, sometimes it's to control. Sometimes it's to distract. Sometimes it's to afflict. Sometimes it's to destroy. Sometimes it's to take the good of your life, to take it away. All those weapons of the enemy, this night, we're destroying them. The works of the devil, what he does in bringing sickness, in bringing affliction, bringing poverty, bringing disaster, bringing accident, all the works of the devil, tonight in your life, they're destroyed in Jesus' name. The message, destroying the works and the weapons of the devil. Three points. Number one, the activities and the attacks of Satan. Let's recognize them. Let's know that this is of the devil. Then you know, if you know this is of the devil, you'll be able to come against it and you'll destroy it. The activities and the attacks of Satan. Number two. The authority and the ability of saints, the saints of God, the believers in the Lord, the disciples of the Lord. We have authority and we have ability, the authority and the ability of saints. Number three, the anointing and the armor of the Son. Any child of God, every child of God, we have the anointing and we have the armor of the sun. Number one, tell me number one. The activities and the attacks of Satan. I want you to look at Luke chapter 13. In Luke chapter 13, we're looking at verse 11. 13, 11. It tells us, And behold, there was a woman that had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. I was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. You see, the problem of this woman had continued for 18 years. A chronic disease. A spinal kind of disease. She was bent over. She couldn't lift up herself. 
medical signs might give that disease different kinds of names. But the Lord recognized it as a spirit of infirmity. Look at verse 16. Ought not this woman be the daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound? It was a bondage of Satan. It was an affliction from Satan. But the day she met Jesus, that bondage was broken. Tonight, and you come in face to face with Jesus, the bondage in your life is broken. The affliction in your life is taken away. No matter how many years that affliction, that bondage has remained there, 18 years, 20 years, 30 years, you come tonight in this divine encounter with the Lord and the yoke is broken in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by who? Of the devil. For God was with him. That tells you then all those sicknesses that Jesus healed. Those blind people, it was the work of the devil. Paralysis, work of the devil. All that cancer, that's work of the devil. And all those infirmities in the lives of people, it was the work of the devil. And whatever work of the devil is there tonight, we come here tonight in the name of the Lord to destroy that work of the devil in your body in Jesus' name. When I mention the name of Jesus in prayer tonight, heaven stands at attention. And all those demons, all those spirits, all those evil powers, they will go away from your life in Jesus' name. Will command them to pack their load and go. HIV AIDS is part of his load. Pack your load and go. Cancer is part of his load. Devil, pack your load and go. Insanity brain problem is part of his work. Pack your load and go. All that thing walking about in the body and in the brain is the load of the devil. Satan, I command you, pack your load and go. And all those hearing of voices, I'm hearing this, I'm hearing that, and you don't see anybody, it's the work of the devil. Satan, tell, tell him, tell him. Pack your load and go. And he has to go in Jesus' name. You see here it says, Jesus healed them. All that were oppressed of the devil. We're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. These are the activities of Satan, the attacks and the afflictions of Satan. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, unless I should be exalted above measure, through the abundance of the revelations, there was given unto me a son in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Here Paul the Apostle recognized the buffeting, the beating, the boxing, the pounding, the kind of thorn in the flesh. He knew it wasn't the work of God. It was the work of the devil. All the buffeting in your life today that brings reproach upon your life, tonight we're going to dismiss that thing. We drive it out in Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter 2. We're reading from verse 18. The activities, the attacks, the afflictions of Satan. First Thessalonians chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 18. Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. There are many people that will say, I had this vision, I had this mission, I had this goal, I had this assignment, I had this 
meeting, I had this thing I wanted to achieve. But something always discourages me. Once I start like this, I'm not able to finish. There is a hidden hindrance somewhere. It's the work of the devil. Don't you see that verse? It says, but Satan hindered us. Somebody there, you had wanted to get married. And every time you are planning, I want to get married, I want to get, you get excited about it. All of a sudden, everything will cool down. It's like you're no more interested. And Satan hindered you. I come here tonight, that activity of Satan, attack of Satan in your life. I come to destroy it tonight in Jesus' name. How do you think about a person that is in school? We think that it's the joy of a student that you know that after three years to spend here, four years to spend here, five years to spend here. After five years, I'm through. I come out. I go and work. But when the exam is coming, you've been preparing. All of a sudden, I'm not interested again. I will take the exam next session. And you yourself, you defer and you delay because Satan hindered you. Any good thing that is going to come your way, there is that thing that will bring discouragement and then you, you go back, you withdraw from it. Tonight is the night of deliverance. Deliverance has come tonight in Jesus' name. All the good things that should have come to you and you yourself, you will hinder yourself. And you know you are doing it. And you say, you say I, I don't care, I don't care. It's later after the thing is gone, you'll be regretting. That thing that brings that regret perpetually in your life, tonight is the night of supernatural deliverance. Deliverance has come in Jesus' name. Point number two, the authority and the ability of saints. Thank God you are here tonight. If you don't know you have authority, authority is coming upon your life. I said authority is coming your way. And ability, ability is strength, ability is might, ability is power. And when there's a combination of ability and authority, strength and authority, skill and authority, power and authority, no evil power, no mountain can stand before you anymore in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 9, Luke chapter 9. I'm reading from verses 1 and 2. Power and authority. Authority and ability. Luke chapter 9. We're looking at verse 1. In Luke chapter 9, reading from verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together. And he gave them power and authority. He gave them ability and authority. He gave them strength and authority over all devils how many devils how many devils all devils and to kill diseases tonight we have power over all spirits over all devils even over satan tonight in any life in jesus name luke chapter 10 verse 17 and the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. From tonight, this will be your testimony. Lord, even the devils are subject unto me through thy name. Say that. Lord, even the devils are subject unto me through thy name, say that again. Say it as if you really believed it in your heart. You are no more subject to the devil. The devils are subject unto you. You are no more under the power of the devil. The devil is under your power in Jesus' name. The devil is no more on top of you. You are now on top of the devil in Jesus' name. 
they came rejoicing, they came with celebrating, they came giving testimony. Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And behold, I give you power. Behold, he gives me power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Well, read the rest yourself. Tell me out loud, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. It will not hurt you again in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and verse 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. I'm one of them. I said I am one of them. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. Where are the hands who are going to lay on the sick? I anoint those hands again. I anoint those hands again. Believe this, believe this, believe this. These hands that you see, look at that hand now. Look at it, look at it, look at it yourself. This hand that you are looking at now, you will lay it on the sick and they will recover in Jesus' name. It's the authority the Lord has given you. And that authority will come in full force, in full power, this very year in Jesus' name. Now look at Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. Reading verses 11 and 12. Authority and ability. Giving to the children of God, the saints of God. In Acts chapter 19, verse 11. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. And God wrought special miracle by the hands of it's no more Paul. Paul is gone. Who is this now? Who is this now? Tell me your name. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of that's you there. It will happen in Jesus' name. So that from his body were brought unto the sick and cashiers and aprons. And the diseases departed from them. Even the people that wash your clothes, while they are washing your clothes, evil spirits will pass away from them. Diseases will get away from them in Jesus' name. You know, you are going and then your anchorship drops down. And then the person, somebody tries to help you and he picks up your anchorship to say, this is your anchorship, sir. Before you get that anchorship back, they are healed already. Because it says handkerchiefs and aprons, they were taken from the body of Paul. And now it is you. It has come to your turn. And the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. It is done in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 16. Romans chapter 16, we're looking at verse 20. It says, the God of peace shall bruise Satan. The God of peace shall bruise Satan. The God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Under your feet shortly. Under your feet shortly. I'm coming back to that. I'm coming back to that. I'm coming back to that. I'm looking at Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. I'm still coming back to Romans chapter 16. There's a connection here. In Genesis chapter 3, and I'm reading here from verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head. That's what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. That when Jesus said, it is finished, he gave the devil a spiritual, deafening, and destructive, technical knockdown and knockout. It knocked him off. It, it became, that's how he came out of his senses because, and he has not recovered since then, and now it is your turn. 
the same way that Jesus bruised the head of the devil. When you mention the name of Jesus, that same Satan will be bruised under your feet in Jesus' name. Come back now, come back now to Romans chapter 16. And we're looking at verse 20. It says, and the God of peace. What does that mean? The God who gave you peace is salvation. Who gave you peace in your soul. Who gave you peace that passes understanding. That same God is the one that will subdue the devil, subdue Satan under your feet in Jesus' name. And then you say shortly, shortly. What does that shortly mean? In a few minutes. Shortly, in a moment of time, shortly, very soon, very soon, when you stand up tonight, you are standing on the hedge of the devil. You are standing on top of all your problems because God himself, the God of peace, shall put Satan under your feet shortly. It will happen in Jesus' name. Number three, the anointing and the armor of the sun. The anointing and the armor of the sun. Do you remember from the day, from the moment David had the anointing? He had the anointing in chapter 16. Immediately he had that anointing in chapter 16. When Saul had the challenge of mental problem, demonic problem, this David, when the same chapter, he went there when he played upon the harp, all the evil spirits departed from Saul. And then the next chapter, chapter 17, when Goliath showed up, because of the anointing that came upon David, he was able to destroy the power of the Philistines, that he is Goliath. And tonight, anointing is coming upon you. That's the anointing that will break every yoke. And we have mighty anointing here tonight. Every problem in your life will be taken away in Jesus' name. Let me show you that the anointing, you have that anointing already, 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. And we're reading from verse 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. I'm going to join verse 20. 20 and 21. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him, amen, of the glory of God by us. All the promises of God will be yes in your life. I said all the promises are yes in your life. All the promises are amen in your life in Jesus' name. That's why I said when we pray and you hear the final amen, you know that amen is yours. That amen is yours. It means so let it be, so let it be, so let it be. It is done in your life in Jesus' name. 21. Now he which establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us has anointed us, has anointed us, is God. That is, Paul the Apostle was saying, it is God himself that has anointed us. Samuel anointed David. Look at the result of the anointing. Samuel anointed David. Look at the, the effect of the anointing on his even playing musical instrument. Look at the effect of the anointing on the sleek and on the stone. But now, Almighty God himself has anointed me. Almighty God himself has anointed you. This anointing will break every yoke. Will destroy every infirmity in your life in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The anointing that breaks every yoke is here today. The anointing that destroys every work of the devil is coming from the pulpit. They are coming to you straight now in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, and it shall come to pass, it has come to pass already. In that day, that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. That heavy weight on your shoulder is taken away. That heavy load on your head is taken away. That heavy load on your back bending you down is taken away in Jesus name that heaviness on your chest is taken away in Jesus name the woman that has been pregnant for more than nine months and it's like you know you're already counting more than 10 12 11 12 months and the load is still there the pregnancy is still there go back home and deliver in Jesus name 
it says and then it says and his yoke from off thy shoulder and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. There is anointing here tonight. And every yoke in your life is destroyed in Jesus' name. Remember, point number three is the anointing and the ammo. The anointing and the ammo. The anointing and the ammo. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 11. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that she may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now you will stand. I said, now you will stand. You know, before the wind will blow and blow you down, the storm will come and blow you down, and all the challenges of life will come and put your back on the ground. But from today, you will stand. You will have a backbone to stand, the courage to stand, the conviction to stand, and the faith to stand in Jesus' name. Put on the whole armor, put on the whole armor of God. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. All those principalities and powers tonight, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. All those, uh, you know, the chief of this and the leader of this and the champion of this and the head of that and the principal of that. All those rulers of darkness, all those rulers of the dark powers, we destroy them tonight in Jesus' name. Against spiritual wickedness in high places, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, you will stand like a conqueror. You stand like a champion. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, above all, above all, take the, taking the shield of faith. This is for your protection. You are protected in Jesus' name. You know from tonight, no arrow of the devil will be able to penetrate into your body in Jesus' name. No arrow of the devil will be able to penetrate it to your eyes in Jesus' name. From behind, you'll be protected. In front, you'll be protected. Above, you'll be protected. Anything they send from any village, any riverside, will never get to you in Jesus' name. The power of the Almighty God will bring down that arrow before it gets to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Where we, ye shall be able to quench. How many pray that? How many tell me? How many tell me? All the funny darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Thank God tonight is the destruction of the works and the weapons of the devil in Jesus' name. Any stronghold in your life right there tonight, I come against it. Any evil power in your life tonight, I come against it. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter 10. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. We have mighty weapons here tonight. I said we have mighty weapons here tonight. That mountain in your life that you know you've been trying to use a shovel a shovel to remove the mountain that's why the mountain has been there i come with a bulldozer tonight i come with great caterpillar tonight and then when you hear that final amen that mountain is gone and when you hear the amen of the people of god you will know that that stronghold in your life will bring it down in jesus name because the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. Everybody say, pulling down. Say that again. Pulling down of strongholds. Pull down the strongholds. Pull down the strongholds. I said, we're pulling down the strongholds. Casting down, we're pulling down, we're casting down. We're pulling down, we're casting. Don't you see? The scene is in your head. I bring it to the ground. The scene is your body. I bring it to the ground. The scene is your brain. I bring it to the ground. We cast down imaginations and every high scene that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity 
they thought they will bring you into captivity before, but you now, you are the one that will bring them into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now the time has come. Say the time has come. Time pulling down. And the time of casting down. And the time of rooting out every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life. This is the moment we're going to root it out in Jesus' name. All those strongholds of the devil in your life, in your family, on your wife, or your husband, or your children, or your parents, we're pulling them down, casting them down tonight in Jesus' name. All those seeds of hatred, the seed of destruction, and the seed of defeat that the devil is bringing your family and bringing in, in your business, we're rooting everything out right now. Any plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your body, has not planted in your wife, has not planted in your husband, has not planted in your family. Look at husband and wife that love each other before they couldn't live without seeing each other. But now the hatred and you are backing each other. I bring that hatred away, the stronghold of the devil, away from your family in Jesus' name. Get up now, get a life. Militant soldiers of the Lord, it's time to cast down. It's time to pull down. It's time to root out that plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life, in your family. Root it out. Root it out. Root it out. Pull it down. Pull it down. It must not be there. It must not be there. Any power of the devil, any activity of the devil, any attack of the devil, any affliction of the devil, tonight is the night of pulling down. Tonight is the night of casting down. Tonight is the night of rooting up and rooting out and throwing away all those plants the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life. Sickness, root them out. Affliction, root them out. Infirmity, root them out. Oppression, root them out. Captivity, pull them down. Stronghold, pull them down. All the things the devil has been using to disturb you and to hinder you. And all those afflictions and attacks of the enemy, pull them down and cast them down. Tonight is that night. We have the authority, we have the power. We have the authority, we have the ability. We have the authority, we have the strength. We have the authority and we have the bulldozer to bring everything down that is negative in your life. All the seeds of failure, I root them out of your life. All the seeds of defeat, I root them out of your life. Tonight is your night to come out of that prison. Come out of that cage. Come out of that captivity. Come out of that infirmity. Come out of that sickness. The Lord has come to show you his power tonight. His glory tonight. The works of the devil destroyed. The weapons of the devil destroyed. There's enough anointing here tonight to root out, to pull down, to cast down every work of the enemy in your life. This is your night. It shall come to pass. It has come to pass. It shall come to pass, it has come to pass. It shall come to pass, it has come to pass. Casting down, pulling down, rooting out. Every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life. Tonight you are delivered, tonight you are set free, tonight you are liberated. The power that sets free is here tonight. The power that cast down all those imaginations, they are here tonight. Activities of Satan will come down. Attacks of Satan will come down. The afflictions of Satan will come down. We have the authority, we have the ability. We have the anointing, we have the ammo. This sign shall follow all of us that believe. This sign shall follow the believing ones. These I shall follow. These I shall follow. These I shall follow. In his name, we cast out devils. 
In his name, we bring healing to you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now your time has come. I said your time has come. Every mountain will be moved away. Every affliction will be moved away. Every sickness will be moved away. All the activities of the devil in your brain, all the activities of the devil in your family, tonight I cast them down in Jesus' name. I want you to look at whatever it is in your life that needs to be cast down. Whatever it is in your life that needs to be pulled down. Whatever it is in your life that is referred to as a stronghold. This is the last time you are going to see that thing. These Egyptians that you see tonight, you will see them no more forever in Jesus' name. Pulling down. Pulling down. Pulling down. Casting down. Casting down. The time has come. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Every plant the heavenly father has not planted in your life, your spiritual life, your family life, your physical life, every plant the heavenly father has not planted. It's time for us now to root everything out. You'll not find them again in Jesus' name. You want to raise up your hand and if you have any challenge, your body lay the other hand in that part of your body, casting down, pulling down, rooting out. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come at this time to do what you have called us to do. That every stronghold of the enemy in the life of any child of God here, I cast them down in Jesus' name. The afflictions of Satan, the attacks of Satan, all the activities of Satan, hindering the people from making progress, this time now, I cast them down in Jesus' name. All the hindrances of your life that will not allow you to make progress. Lord, in the strength of the Lord, in the might of the Lord, I pull everything down right now in Jesus' name. Evil spirit, come out of that place in Jesus' name. All that evil power, come out in Jesus' name. The mountains on your back, the mountains on your chest, the mountains in your soul, the mountains in your spiritual life, not allowing you to make progress, a lot of vows, a lot of consecration, a lot of decision, a lot of intention, a lot of I want to, I want to, but this load is hindering you. The stronghold is hindering you. You stronghold of the devil, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. You get money, you earn money, but it's all drugs, all hospital. You are out and in and in and out until you finish spending the money. They will not leave you alone. All that wastage in your life, I pull them down right now. I cast them down right now. You devil, with all your activities there, come out in Jesus' name. The person there that you wanted to get married, but HIV will not allow you to get married. You go for test now, they say it's positive. Test now, it is positive. Go to another place, positive, and reverse that thing in your life. You mountain of HIV AIDS, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I pull down that stronghold of the devil in your life, in hindering your marriage, in Jesus' name. That child that was born with a particular deformity, that thing that you were born with is a stronghold and it's hindering you from making progress and you're always thinking of that, you're revolving around that. Right now, tonight, at this moment, I come against that thing you were born with and I pull down that stronghold. I cast down that stronghold and I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Somebody you offended long ago placed a curse on you. There's somebody I'm talking about, and since that time, you said, that's nothing, that's nothing. And then you use both faith. But you know that everything that fellow said, you'll not be able to do this, you'll not do this. You have made that a failure every crossroad, every, every inch of the way. Tonight is the night of your deliverance. Lord, 
I cancel that curse. I break that yoke. I destroy that curse and that utterance of the enemy in Jesus' name. I release you now into the success. I release you into prosperity. I release you into all that God created for you to do in your life in Jesus' name. Now I pray for everybody. Raise up your hand, everybody, and those who are far away, who are connecting with us with start a life. Lord, I pray right now. Everything that is the work of the devil in their lives, everything the work of the devil in their body, all those works of Satan, all those activities of Satan, I come to destroy them now. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed in Jesus' name. All the tiredness, all the weakness, all the failure, all the defeat, all the poverty, everything that has come a reproach in your life, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone. Touch everyone. Get them out of this pit of poverty, out of this pit of need, out of this pit of scarcity, in Jesus' name. Blessing on every one of you. Miracle on every one of you. Deliverance on every one of you. Healing on every one of you. Confirm it in every life, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I got, I got my own. I said I got my own. I said I got my own. Check up yourself, check up yourself. Is there right now? Is there right now? All those things are pulled now. All those things are cast down. All those plans, the Heavenly Father has not planted in your life. They're rooted out already. Thank God you're free. Thank God you're free. Say, thank God I am free.